Hey guys, here's one for all the budding filter code nerds out there. These are my top three functions for use in filter code. Number one, index of. So this puppy right here tells you the index of something in an array or a string, which you could have probably guessed from the name. Uh, but did you know you can also use it to check for whether or not a substring exists? So this is how it works. Uh, if we look for the index of something and it doesn't exist, the computer returns minus one. Uh, but if we put an exclamation mark in front of the check for minus one, uh, we're looking for the opposite. So if it doesn't not exist, continue with our statement. Now, remember that this method is case sensitive and it gets a bit weird if you're looking for undefined or not a number. Uh, just uh, keep that in mind, yeah? Number two, interpolation. So are you tired of using concatenation? Well, do I have the method for you? Uh, concatenation is the practice of using the plus symbol to join strings and other things together, in case you didn't know. And whilst it has its place, it looks ugly as all hell if you're adding values to a long string or URL. So use interpolation instead, it's that simple. Uh, here we're going to add some backticks instead of the regular single or double, uh, double quote characters, and we'll add our variables in by using a dollar symbol and curly brackets. Doesn't that look so much nicer to read? Number three, to uppercase and to lowercase. So I'm giving you a two for here because I'm nice and I like you guys. Uh, remember in that first example where we spoke about index of? Well, some functions are case sensitive, just like that one. And sometimes you really need to work with strings in different cases. So luckily we have to uppercase and to lowercase, which do exactly what they say on the tin really. Uh, they take a string and they convert it entirely to upper or lowercase characters, depending on which function you choose. Now, these don't alter the original string either, which makes these functions great for comparisons while leaving the original value intact. So that's all for me this time, uh, but tune in next time to learn more about our new applet editing features, or check out this video from a couple of weeks ago where I used the match method to find Reddit posts about hot stock ticker symbols that are going to the moon.